Maybe I jump in on a couple plays if I have to. Defense needs my help. Okay. Okay. One time, God. God, one time. The New Orleans Saints are led by quarterback Drew Brees, one of the most elite quarterbacks in the NFL. They also have talented young receivers and a guy like Brandon Cooks. 96 speed. He takes the top off a of defense vertically downfield. And let's not forget the emerging star, a cover corner, Delvin Bro, number 40, six foot one, big time corner on the outside. To redo these New Orleans Saints, kid. Shout out to my guy, XX Beast Mode, XXX24. We're going to roll with the New Orleans Saints as the team that we rebuild. Set the, the season goal at making the playoffs every time, and thus far we've failed. Um, I'm sticking with the formula. We're going to go playoffs or bust. Like, what's the point of what we're doing if we don't make the playoffs? All right, first things first, take a look. Obviously, quarterback, uh, without a doubt, Drew Brees. He's the guy. There's not much you got to do. You got Garrett Grayson. We got Luke McDown. McCown's that old? 13 years pro? Dang. Um, but Breeze, yeah, he's the guy, definitely for now. Uh, but concerns down the road, but this is a one-season sim, so not really a concern for me right now. Halfback, uh, yeah, you got Mark Ingram. Obviously, he's going to be a guy that has some trucking uh, for you. But then CJ Spiller is the more dynamic back. Obviously, his carrying is really low, 78 compared to the 90 of Mark Ingram. Trucking, elusive. You know, Spiller's the more explosive player, but at this stage in his career, like, he hasn't really panned out, so, like, his ratings don't show where he needs to be, like, still to be that explosive player. So, Ingram will be the feature guy. Spiller's more of a sexy pick. Maybe even trade bait for us uh, somewhere else. I don't love our halfback situation. Wide receiver, you got Brandon Cooks, 96 speed. Take the top off the of defense. Um, Goners, Marquise Colston, right? And Colston, not here. We got Willie Sneed. Uh, we got Michael Thomas, rookie, six foot three. He's a big body receiver. We got Brandon Coleman, six foot six as well. He's a monster. Rodney Dangerfield right here from Western Kentucky, six foot three. And Josh Hill, big time tight end with, with good athleticism. Here, here uh, coming from the Giants, he's a six foot six frame, big target. Uh, Josh Hill again, Michael Hooman, former New England Patriot. Tight end looking pretty good right here for the Saints. All right, here we go. We got Cameron Jordan. Uh, Jordan's obviously the stud of the defensive line. Five-year pro, 91 overall. Uh, no concerns there. On the opposite side, though, you know, we have some big-time concerns of, like, who's going to step up and play. We got a bunch of guys kind of in the low to mid-70s range um, that can kind of fill in and play. But the rest of the defensive line, you got a guy like Nick Fairley. Bring him in. He's known for acceleration, his pass rushing ability. Uh, but, again, the rest of the defensive line has a lot of question marks. Um, there might be a spot maybe maybe we go back do move that CJ Spiller to kind of improve the defensive line a little bit in the payoff Let's go linebackers like this is another spot. That's really concerning like we don't have any Linebackers that I could really hang my hat on and be like I feel good about this guy uh, You have a guy in a guy like James Laronitis never truly panned out. He comes into uh, New Orleans now 77 speed uh, but he's got some of those like play recognition abilities like 88 player connection is really good So he will play better than his overall Shows he will he'll be, actually be really good in the run game because 88 player record is really good uh, Then you get a guy like Daniel Ellerby Athletic uh, kind of like you know He had that those great seasons with the Ravens and then he kind of pans out gets a free agent deal um, Hasn't really played again to kind of that free agent deal. He got uh, but again serviceable for an outside linebacker in this scheme. Corners, you love Delvin Bro. We know already already know that he's a monster in Ultimate Team, but uh, we take a look here. Uh, six foot one, good frame, good size, good speed as well. Uh, Keenan Lewis, he brings some veteran experience, but again, a big problem on this team is a lack of experience on the defense side of the ball. PJ Williams, he's gonna have to step up. We got Swan, a lot of, like Von Bell, like he's a free safety obviously, but uh, we, got, we got a lot of inexperienced guys in the secondary. Take a look at a guy like Von Bell uh, back here as well. He's not currently starting. You got uh, Jarius Bird, who is the more veteran uh, player. Uh, but I'm probably going to definitely opt in with a Von Bell here. In this stage, Jarius Bird is just trade bait for me. Especially when I got, like, I got Kenny, uh, Kenny Vaccaro Varkus, in that <laughs> Vaccaro. Especially when I got... Mm. Especially when I got, like, I got Kenny, uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny Vaccaro, 
Upgrade our linebacker and our pass rushing. So we're going to go for the Packers and go for Clay Matthews and Nick Perry. Likelihood of them accepting this is probably not good. Is They have high. They have high. They're not interested in Jerry's bird. Okay. Add a, let's add someone else. Um, CJ Spiller. Submit. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I got no one else. Now always give up your offensive lineman for these guys. When in doubt. Come on. What? Just Nick Perry? They're not interested in Jerry's bird? Interested in Jerry's bird. Get out of What if I had a sec what if I had another pick? Third round pick. What if I had a third round pick? It was accepted. All right, Nick Perry. Let's go. Welcome to the squad. We just upgraded what we needed. We felt like it was a big time position. We needed to improve. Uh, so let's go to our depth chart. All right, we're going to take a look at our season's uh, schedule here. Week by week, what we think is going to be the matchup. We're playing the Raiders week one at home. That's probably going to be a win, even though we are facing a... Uh, rising up and coming offense with Derek Carr, you got Amari Cooper, you got to love the way Latavius Murray pounds the rock. But I think at home, week one, uh, I think Drew Brees gets it done uh, there for us. A second week at the Giants. This is a game where uh, you know you're going against Eli Manning, but you're playing a team that has has had troubles in their own right. I think with the new addition of Nick Perry on the squad, with rushing Nick Perry and Cam Jordan, we can really get after Eli Manning, make his day really tough and and I don't think they'll be able to run the ball very extremely well so I think that we can get out of there and start the season 2-0 and time time game this is going to be a loss we're, even though we're at home even though we're at home we're going to be playing the Falcons this is most likely going to be a loss we'll, we'll end uh, going into week four at a 2-1-1 record uh, to play against the Chargers probably a west coast trip this will probably be another loss as we head into our bye week we'll be uh, two and two uh, and now this matchup here is intriguing. We're playing against the Panthers at home. Another loss, most likely. Ah, you know what? Go back to that Chargers. We're gonna go. We're gonna win this game. We're gonna go be three and two. No, we're gonna be. We're gonna be. We're gonna be three and one. We're gonna be three and one after this game. So they're gonna lose to the Panthers. Be three and two. We'll lose to the Chiefs. Be three and three. We'll lose to the Seahawks. Be three and four. They beat the the Niners. They, who they got? They got nobody at quarterback. Beat the Broncos. Be five and four. Lose to the Panthers. Be five and five. Beat the Rams. Be six and five. The Lions. Be seven and five. Beat the Bucks. Be eight and five. We're gonna lose to the Cardinals. Eight and six. And then we're gonna beat the Bu We're gonna beat the last two teams of the season and end finish 10 and 6 and get into the playoffs in the payoffs let's go we're gonna advance ahead a couple weeks here we'll see how it ends up and we'll see you guys as soon as we have some breaking news to deliver all right guys this is a big time injury for us right now uh heading into the bye week he's only out two weeks with the abdominal tear but delvin bro is sideline right now this is a big time loss for us even though it's only two weeks i still have some concerns because right now our record not the best it could be overall uh, currently, right now, we sit uh, with a two and two record. We did, uh, we kind of did what we said we would. Two and two with an original guess, but two and two. Uh, we head into our bye week, which is great because that'll give us one more week. Uh, he won't return. Delvin Bro won't return until we play the Chiefs. Uh, but it's it's a good time to get guys healthy. Delvin Bro give him another week to 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 heal. As this is a critical part of the season, big decision right here. Do we play? Delvin Bro, take a chance, make it happen, pop the cork, finger snapping, spin the wheel, round and round we go, life is good, life is great, sweet, go ahead and grab yourself a front row sweet, and let's meet, and have a ball, yeah, life's good, with the wonder of it all, so we're gonna actually play Delvin Bro, He's going to play through his injury. That's not good. All right. All right. They gave up a touchdown already. Drew Brees. Punch it in, Drew. Come on. Punch it in, Drew. Take advantage of it. Get some points. Come on. Punch it in. Touchdown. Let's go. Willie Sneed. 
All right. Defense out there. Let's go. Our ball. Let's go. Tutty. Our ball. Tutty. Let's go. Big sack, Cam Newton. Cam Jordan going down. Uh, okay, third down. Third down. Did they convert? We No, kick a field goal. We gave up a... Okay, we gave up a field goal. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to go into half. Two-minute drill, though. Let's go. Let's go have a championship drive. We gave up a touchdown? How did we get the ball back? Come on. Drive down the field. Do something better than Cam Newton pass not... How'd they get the ball back? And we gave him a field goal? Alright, well, now we're down six. Defense needs help. We gave up. We get. We're Now we're down 14. Now we're down 14. Come on, Drew. Come on, boys. Okay, down 11. Uh, we gave up another tutty. God, we're done. We're done. We're done. We lost. What happened? Measly touchdown. Need a big stop. We gave up another tutty. We gave up 42 points. Well, you always hate to lose. Obviously. Yeah, you do hate to lose. All for Drew Brees. Not the Drew Brees I know and love. We gotta abandon the ground. We gotta just abandon the run game. We gotta abandon it. Chuck the magic bean around. That's what we're doing. We're chucking the magic bean all over the field. After the, that's it. Harry, no sacks? I bring you in and you have no sacks? You got one pick. All right, we got a win there. Three and six against the Panthers. We need this win. We got to fight for this win. We got to crawl with our fingernails for this win. All right, kickoff. Seven-year kickoff by Morstead. Philly Brown returns for a touchback. We're going to go ahead and move it up to a fast scenario. See if, we, I mean, I, maybe I jump in on a couple plays if I have to. We'll see. We got to do something. 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 Let's jump in on this. My rock. I got the rock in the palm of my hand. Should have been doing this the whole time. Tutty. Tutty. Let's go. 7-7. Cool. Seven, seven, blocked the field goal. No. It took a fig. Defense needs my help. Okay. Okay. This. That's the opposite. We're going to... We had him... All right, we got one more shot. We got one more shot. Gotta go. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, no. We just gotta go. We gotta go. We got no hope. One time, God. God, one time. Catch it. Wrong guy. Gah. Three and seven. We just lost to the Panthers when I took over and played the game. We're going to advance then the season and see what happens. Can we get in the playoffs? Oh, I was. Uh, I, had a, I had an outside shot. I had an outside shot looking in. Sort of. If I went eight and eight and won that game. All right, guys, that's going to do it again for another True 32. I am now officially 0-4. I haven't made the playoffs once. I even tried to take over the team this time, and I couldn't get the W. So I'm at a loss for words as to what to do. Um, maybe I take it into year two and just try and keep rebuilding. That way, see how long it takes for me to build a powerhouse. But um, I don't know. I am not performing well. Haha. <laughs> I keep losing. Ho hopefully, you guys find some of the commentaries somewhat funny, but I keep losing. Uh, frustrating. 
but I gotta find a better team for uh, for me to achieve next year. I think the Panthers are the team. The Panthers seem like the team that are gonna give you the best chance to win um, and to uh, take advantage of what they have to offer on, on the offensive side of the ball and defense side of the ball. But until next time, guys, we'll see you guys on the next episode, True 32. Make sure to comment on this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time, True 32.